Good morning, everyone. This is Miss McDaniel. It's so great to be with you on this Tuesday, March 24th, to lead morning assembly. On Tuesdays, we often think about things that we are thankful for, someone or something that without our life just wouldn't be the same. Parents, I give them examples like maybe a ball, a soccer ball, a football, whatever in your life brings you joy and you just would not be the same without that sport maybe. Maybe it's a person, someone who listens to you, someone who cares for you, maybe a friend, maybe a parent or grandparent. So right now, before we get started talking this morning a little bit, please join me in thinking of that person or thing that you are thankful for. And remember, boys and girls, I always say, let's not make it your phone or your gaming station, although right now, I know that's a major way that you are able to stay in touch with the outside world beyond your home. Let's join together in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular, for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. St. Thomas More, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. Mary, Queen of Peace, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. If you're not standing, please do so and join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Very good boys and girls. I could hear you saying it loud and proud, but not yelling. So very nice job. Today we have one birthday. I'm excited to announce that second grader Lucas Wisdom has a birthday today. Happy birthday, Lucas. I hope that you were enjoying your birthday with all of your family around you. We'll get you that pencil when you get back. Boys and girls and parents, your teachers have been working really, really hard to send out lessons and videos that go along with those lessons. Some lessons we're creating, some videos we're finding on the internet and we can link them um, in first through eighth grade to our Google Classroom and pre-K and K, we are doing those via email. So we are continuing the curriculum moving forward. Um, as best we can, you know, remotely and supporting you in this way, but your health is our number one priority. So just a few reminders, you know, stay home right now, even at home, wash your hands. Uh, you can hug on mom and dad, just don't cough in anybody's face or anything like that. Just the things that we've always done. Now I have some tips that we've been doing this for, you know, all of four days at this point this teacher support supported online learning. <clears throat> Everything was posted yesterday. So I know you may be feeling a little overwhelmed because wow, it just all came out in one day. So a couple of things that I was thinking about, big kids, like go through your schedule and make sure that you open everything according to your schedule. And then either maybe in your assignment pad or on a calendar, or you maybe wanna type it in Google Docs a list of what you have due this week. The different lessons you need to go through, if you have any tests or quizzes or anything to turn in to make sure that you don't forget those things. I know on Google Docs that when you pull up your classroom, it has reminders there, which is awesome. Younger students, we're actually sending it to you in an email and it's all there together, all in one place. Well, that can be overwhelming in itself but just take a moment, you can highlight them. You may wanna print that out, highlight them as you finish them. It's really not intended to be overwhelming. We just wanted it all in one place since we're not using that Google Classroom to push out assignments to you. So everyone just stay cool. We're not gonna get overwhelmed just because it's Tuesday and we're trying to uh, maneuver through all of the things that we have due this week. We're gonna do it day by day. Just a reminder that your teachers are there for you. 
They are responding to comments on Google Classroom. They are responding to parent emails if there are questions. So please know that we are here from you for you even though we are from home. So reach out to us. Um, that's what we want to be doing is, is supporting you in this online learning endeavor together. We're in it together. So I hope that all of you have a great Tuesday. I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday and have a great day. Prayers to everyone. Bye-bye. Miss you all.